I am Sivram Prasad, visiting faculty at IARG. In the last two sessions, we were told about how SME and CSD has to, how SME and CSD is so close, we have to jointly work and this gives a success, first at the stage of learning, then at the stage of application. And today we will see one role model. You see, it is not a very big, great figure, but he's very close to me and he's my classmate, junior, and he studied with me and I lived with him. It is a story started about 30 years back. See, we call him Mr. Morale. He's just retired as a software specialist from an MNC. And if you see his life history, he started as a very simple core electrical engineer and during the course of life, he changed lines very timely and very appropriately and as I know, it is the highest risk and he moved from a core electrical engineer into a globally acceptable top-end software professional. Today, he he claims a lot of things under his name. He is basically from an agricultural background. Entered BTEC. Those days it was five-year course. He was so innocent. We used to call him those days, being a junior to us, Amul baby. And by nature, he has become a very favorite during the, the first initial period. And by the end of the career, he became so powerful that he used to maintain gangs by the time he was graduated in 82. And he started his career <coughs> as a simple maintenance engineer at small companies and big companies, differently engaged in Mumbai. And after some time, he moved to Dubai. He, he earned, but on the money side, he earned, but on the change, he wanted a change. So he came back, he started his profession again into a purchase, engineering profession with purchase. And during the doors of maintenance, he used to work with Mr. Ajit Vadekar. He is one time a cricket captain. Those days he only brought India onto a world map because those days were Patodi, after Patodi, Vajit Vadekar. Vadekar Sunil Gavaskar, Solkar, Vishwanath, these are all the period. That time, he used to work with them. Then, when he was a OEM, he joined a OEM, auto OEM, it was in Hyderabad. They were making LCBs. That time, he was a purchasing, he used to source components for vehicle. He found it was not very challenging or he was looking for a change. And those were the days of ERP and SAP just starting in India. It is not even productionized. It was just in a, a training courses, travel with here and there, marketing like that only. But it was never entered into the industry. What he did is, he discontinued his job. By the time he was a family man, but he discontinued that. Then he went into MS. Then he took a add-on course of SAP and ERP. What he thought is, his core knowledge, it was sufficient to some extent. Then he thought he has to upgrade it with the contemporary knowledge of MS. That means, how to utilize the core knowledge in the industry. Then, he took one step ahead, which is required for future, that is emerging future of computers, software, digital. That course, he did it. Then, he took the step of continuing. That means almost three years, he was on a, not on a earning mode, but on a spending mode. But he was earning the knowledge which is required for the next few years. It happened in 90s, late 90s. By 2000, 
in the middle of the career he ventured into that and by the time it was not a tested field it is untested field and it was never before so that man took such a risky one and if you tell me that is such a step in those days everybody thought he is a madman what he tried is if you go back he wants to retain the best of his built up experience in core engineering that means that is the core which is really solving the problems but just to solving the problems like a doctor if you sit in one corner world will not acknowledge you so what you have to do you have to upgrade your skills with a contemporary knowledge and also suitable for the people who are in the field at that time so he added masters degree and he acquired a new skill of application engineering so what happened he emerged as an all in one person and by the time of 2000 he found to be the best fit in the field because nobody has got a mix of all this those were the starting days so he got into a new field and that is a front end application engineering to serve and a back end competency to solve so he is an all in one man and he took a challenging step until such time he was in a regular core engineering industry now he moved into a application industry that is he has got all the three what is required for the industry subject expertise contemporary skill and application engineering this the time these are all the best so with that he got into a software and hardware that means an mnc company which he wanted to specialize with software and then he moved to different countries different all over the world he worked but how he brought his things into the application is one of the best success he took all the projects see those days only the single discipline specialist used to work independently so they could able to solve few projects but there there are many leftover projects which are unsuccessful and their middle drop or they run hold and the customer not happy such things or many things and this man took a daring step into getting to that so he started with first change in mindset until such time what technology gives that is only the solution but they never bother about what customer is really interested they take the inputs but what technology gives that only they give but this man what he did is he went to the customer what he wanted he took it and he converted or used the technology to solve his problem so what happened the customer started liking then he went to the customer with an additional thing that means he is already specialist i mean he knows all the things specialist knowledge application knowledge and what current industry requires so he could able to move with the customer in a very empathetical way and also very easily because he knows how to solve that application by applying the engineering so what happened his skills his knowledge and his application he started gaining customers so when you are gaining customers you will get more projects and you could able to give best options with this background and solutions with core engineering core engineering is his child play that is he worked in 15 years handling such issues so what happened he started getting more and more teams to work under him and he gave the similar training to those people and he made them very strong multidisciplinary people and when multidisciplinary is there you start understanding among your people among the customers and also subjects you will start understanding in a different way then there is no adjustment it is understanding so what happened you get more collaborative members 
and more liking and customer is always prioritized. So any project you will solve. Once you take customer into your hand, you started getting success over success. So what happened is he started creating teams, friends, colleagues of continuous skill upgrade. That means continuously you have to skill upgrade. That is the order of the day. Then you have to understand the spirit of togetherness and discipline instead of just some adjusted departments, controlled subordinates, forced discipline, working under the rules. These things, in place of that, he created the understanding, continuous skill upgrade and customer centric. All these things made him one of the most successful personality. And if you say, in the first half, he is a normal man and he took a turning point by his self-made characteristic and he went into a, he saw very high in his career and he went from a normal range to a higher range and in the process he never left values, he never left discipline, or he never left the people, he has taken care of his family wealth, fame, everything has come. So now, after 30 years, that means in the first 10 to 15 years, he is so negligible and he is never recognized. And he became the most recognizable personality. Today, he just retired. And what he is thinking now is, see, because of the age, there are energy, there are some policies, from career he may come down, but your sharing of the knowledge, whatever you have gained, he can still continue and that is what he is doing. That means he wants to stand as an example of combined strength and all in one is always useful and sometimes core subjects solve the problem, sometimes skill upgrading will bring it to you closer to the customer and your user friendliness makes you the best in, in the field. So, normally if you see the core engineering, it can solve the problems, but alone it cannot reach your users. It can reach, if at all it wants to take an extra step, it can reach in a very limited way, but the growth will be very limited. Whereas in application engineering, you can handle the customers, you can reach the customers, but you need core engineering for solving the issues. And if you are not solving the issues, first time orders you may get, but sustaining is a very big problem. So, either build all in one or combine and work together. Generally, all in one is, is difficult. So, you have to take up combining and working together. That is the future. So you have to take multidisciplinary working together. That will going to create a good future. <coughs> so in process, what you have to do is a core engineering man, you should understand and additionally acquire some application skills. Same way, application man should add with some core knowledge to understand and make a good software. And both these things put together, the business specialist, he should understand and work with the teams, jointly make all the specialists into a group, then create a new business. So what the thing is, competition means it is not just killing each other. Instead, you have to work with a spirit to improve, expand and grow together and all in a collaborative way. So, ultimately, all-in-one is great, but many of the times today is not possible. So, join, collaborate, align and work together as a team for a common goal, that is serving the society in a user-centric way, not just from technology-centric way. Please mind, today we are focusing on technology-centric 
which is giving a lot of troubles to the users. Instead of that, you get into a user-centric way where it becomes users will be happy and your technology will use it for solving the user's problem. And that is where the joy comes. And irrespective of your field, wherever you are, keep a close watch on the industry and upgrade yourself and align with the needs. And with the needs, your alignment means you have to continuously upgrade the skills. And the man with whom I work or I have shown, his life is an example in that way. He took the step which is required today, 15 years back, and he is so successfully standing there. And it is not a chapter from history or it is not a story from a book. It is a live example. And today he is settling at Bangalore and with a mind to bring his idea into the people's mind for the future. That is, prepare young engineers, build the capability and mindset for a better future. What it is better future? That means directing with wisdom and knowledge and energy with upgrading of skills and finally to meet the needs. That is where the real life is. It is not separately in wisdom or not separately in knowledge or not separately in energy. All these things have to be put together and guided with wisdom. Then only the energy gets into a right use. Otherwise, energy blast will be in an uncontrolled way. It will be like a bomb blast. It will not be like a nuclear power generation for the people. It will be like that. So, he is trying that. And let us wish him and you all all the very best. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.